Hello friends and welcome back to Apron Strings. We're going to make a chicken pot pie. Carrots and celery and onions are going to go in the skillet first until they're tender. Then I'm going to add some mushrooms until they're tender. And last we'll add some chopped Swiss chard and garlic. And when that wilts down, we're going to take a couple, a cup of chicken broth, which I drained off of my canned chicken that I'm using and three tablespoons of uh, flour whisk with that to thicken it. We're going to put it over the vegetables and let it thicken. Add the chicken in and then we'll, um, we will have rolled our crust out to be ready to get it ready to put in the oven and bake. So I've got my butter melting back here. If I was in this skillet, I'd, I'd done be melted, I think, even on low. Get my scooper so I can get it in without spilling it everywhere. Let's gather up. I don't know if y'all can see everything or not, but onions. And we'll put, this is two carrots. That is my beef jerky snack right there. I don't want it in there. Two carrots. This is going to be yummy. And we're going to have a piece of that bread that I made with my new bread maker. Go along with this, I probably will make garlic bread out of it. Even though it's got the little bit of maple flavor, it'll make good garlic bread. Okay, I'm gonna let those let me just show you how pretty and colorful it looks. Let this get tender, and then we will add in the mushrooms and let them wilt down some, add the Swiss chard and garlic. And then we'll be ready to put the broth in and let it kind of thicken, add our chicken and get it in the crust and bake it. While my carrots and stuff is um, mixing up, I'm gonna put my chicken broth and my flour in here and get this flour mixed up good. I won't have any lumps of flour in it when I get it all in there to start thickening. needs to be about 12 inches if I can get it to roll out that thin. Take the, those carrots just a little bit to get soft. Worry if it's a little bit a raggedy looking because that's okay for the type of thing we're making. Now I've told y'all before what I like to do on a savory crust. I like to sprinkle a little bit of onion and garlic on it and kind of roll it in, press it in to get a little extra flavor. Y'all, I had to get used to this different brand of garlic because uh, it's big like the onion, and I grabbed it a time or two, but I caught myself just in time. And this has several cloves of garlic in the mix, but I still like to do this because I want my crust to have some flavor too. Okay, I'm just going to let this sit right here until I get ready to... I could go ahead and put it on the pan, I guess. Carrots are soft and my celery, so I'm going to add in my mushrooms, and this is an 8 ounce. It was two large carrots, one rib of celery, one medium onion, and uh, 8 ounces of mushrooms, and I used the Baby Bellas, and I'm going to let those wilt down just for a little bit, and I'll add my uh, garlic in and my kale, I mean my Swiss chard, and let it wilt. Then we'll add in our broth that we've mixed up 
have thickened and add in the chicken. I think I'm going to add a little onion powder on this. Can y'all believe that? Can you believe that? I just like a good deep flavor, that's all. I'm going to add a sprinkle of red pepper flakes as I can. It's fun when you can do what you want to do. My kitchen, my rules, I guess. This smells yummy, y'all. I love chicken pot pie. I'm going to go ahead and add in my garlic and let it be uh, getting fragrant here for me. I've munched on beef jerky today and some uh, cherry tomatoes and some cucumbers in vinegar that's over there in a the bowl, but that's all I've had and it's about quarter to five in the afternoon. So it's time for supper, isn't it? I'm going to go ahead, because my chick, this is chicken that I canned, I'm going to go ahead and add that in and let it be uh, getting hot. And Troy said he don't like big old hunks of chicken. I knew that. I said, well, this is canned chicken, so it'll pretty well shred and just be all in here. Chicken breast that I pressure canned. Y'all probably were with me in the kitchen when I canned it. The truth was known. And it go ahead and add my Swiss chard in. Call for four cups. I didn't measure. I just bought one big bunch at the store and cleaned it and stripped the stem out of it and chopped it up in pieces. So if it's not quite four cups, that's all right. And y'all know that's going to wilt down to nearly nothing. And you could use spinach if you didn't have Swiss chard or didn't want to buy Swiss chard. But Swiss chard is healthy for you and so is kale. You could use kale in here. Very healthy. Let me get the camera so you can see how it goes down. I wish I could stand close to the stove and uh, just shrink down. That'd be pretty good. I'd be living close to the stove. Doesn't work on me, though. See? It's just uh, very, very wilted already. I love greens of any kind. But you're going to want this pretty thick because you're just going to layer it on that crust. It's not going to be in a pie pan. I'm actually going to do it on a pizza, pizza pan. And I'm going to cook this and let it all thicken. And I'll taste it for flavors to be for sure that I've got it right. Okay, I'm going to let this cook a minute and get a little thick and I'll bring y'all back when I'm putting it onto the the uh, uh, crust. It's going to be like a tart. Okay, I'm going to add a little bit of hot pepper cheese uh, around on the crust, just as a kind of a binder, and to enrich it a little bit. That's a blend of Monterey Jack and um, jalapeno peppers. And now I'm just going to put my mixture around on my crust. All we're going to do is just, just like a tart, just pick the crust up, bring it up.
And I'm just going to put that in the oven until it gets golden brown because everything is cooked with the crust. Doesn't that look good? And I've got my oven heated to 400. Okay, I'm going to set a timer for 15 minutes. And we'll see how brown it gets in 15 minutes and then we'll be back. Okay, y'all, I got one piece scooped out. And I got Troy a plate ready. And it's very, very yummy. Y'all need to try this for your family. And the variations, I mean, you could even add ground beef instead of chicken. A lot you can do with just a basic palate. Y'all, this is good, and I'm just going to take my little pizza stone here and get me a bite off of it and taste of it. So y'all know that I'm telling you the truth. Mm -mm -mm. That's good. And I like it just as well with not a whole bunch of chicken in it. And I made a green salad with just iceberg lettuce and... Roma tomatoes, green onions. Um, what else did I put in it? I put some uh, avocado. And I'm sure Troy won't ranch dressing on his. So we're gonna, I'm going to call him in to have some, this is really lunch and supper for us because we haven't eaten today. And um, I'll be back again in a day or two with another good recipe. Listen, y'all. Things is kind of tightening down in our world. And I don't know how much longer things are going to be our normal, which this is the new normal, actually. But please get your pantry stocked, and please have a few things ahead so that if the shelves are bare, you will have something to feed your family. Times can be tough, but if you can sit down to a good meal, it just makes the day brighter. So be wise. Lay up a few things for just in case, and... Watch your sale papers and stock up on things that are on sale that you will use. Don't waste your money on stuff you won't use. If you don't use canned mushrooms, don't buy any. I don't care if they're 10 cents can. Put your money on stuff that you will use. And for what it's worth, the Campbell's soup at the Dollar Tree store is 20% larger than the cans in the grocery store. And they have chicken noodle and I know tomato and another one, beef and barley or something, but they're a dollar a can, and it's a bigger can. So, you know, shop wisely. Use your dollar to get all you can get for your dollar. Look around, and then go back and make your rounds and buy what you need after you've compared prices. Just trying to help you save a dollar and get some stuff in, you, in on your cabinet shelves where you'll have something to eat. The good Lord bless and keep y'all, and come back in a day or two, and we'll have something else good to eat.